hello good day viewers you are welcome back to shabes online tutorial in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to use mid ordinate role to in evaluate integral if you are new here consider subscribing to my channel and also follow me on facebook tiktok instagram at shabes online tutorial so the question on the board read use mid ordinate role with four interval to evaluate integral of two over root t dt and the limit is one two three and correct our answer to three decimal places so let's get started solution so if you are using mid ordinate row to evaluate integral the first thing we are going to do is to get the width of the interval after getting the width of the interval we get the ordinate and the after getting the ordinate then we get the mid ordinate so let's get started let's start with uh, the width of the interval and the width of the interval is denoted as small letter d, which is equal to what? The ranges over interval. Where the ranges is the differences between the upper limit and the lower limit. The upper limit is 3, then minus the lower limit, which is 1, all over the interval. And the interval from the question is 4. So which is equal to what? 3 minus 1 is 2, then divided by 4, which is equal to 0.5. So we are getting the width of the interval. Now the ordinate will occur at the ordinate will occur at the first one is the lower limit. You write the lower limit, which is one. So the next thing we are going to do is to add the width of the interval, which is 0 0.5 to this one, up to the upper limit. That is where we are going to stop. You must add them till we reach the upper limit. So if you add 0 0.5 to 1, it's going to give us what? 1.5. If you add 0 0.5 to 1.5, it's going to give us 2.0. Add 0 0.5 to it, it's going to give us 2.5. Then add 0 0.5, it's going to give us 3.0. And we notice that the upper limit is 3.0. So this is the ordinate. Now the next thing we are going to get now is to get the mid ordinate point ordinate point which is equal to what how are we going to get the mid ordinate the mid ordinate we are going to add these two number divided by two we take the mean add these two divided by two you drop our answer then you re you remove this first one then add the next one divided by two you drop your answer you remove this one add this one divided by two then continue to the last point so if you add one point sorry 1 plus 1.5 then divided by 2 is going to give us what 1.1.25 so you drop 1 so 1.5 plus 2.0 then divided by 2 is going to give us what 1.75 1.75 then you remove this one so the next one is 2 2.0 plus 2.5 then you divide it by 2 is going to give us what 2.25 2.25 then you drop this one so the last one is 2.5 plus 3.0 you add them you divide it by 2 is going to give us what 2.75 so this is the mid ordinate point so the next thing we are going to do is to draw a table so the first column of this table is going to be what t because the integral we are integrating this function with respect to t you put t so, and the second column is the function, which is y, represented by y, which is equal to what? 2 over what? Root t. So, this, all this midpoint represent is going to be under the column for t. So, let us write them under the column for t. The first one is 1.25, followed by what? 1.75. Then the next one is 2.25. And the last one is what? 2.75. Now, to fill this column, anywhere we see t, we are going to substitute each value of t. So, the next one, the first one is 1.25. Substitute 1.25 here. You are going to have root 1.25. You press equal to, then 2 divided by answer is going to give us 1.7889. 1.7889. So, the next one, 1.75. Plug in 1.75 in place of t here. Take the square root, press equal to, then 2 divided by answer is going to give us what? 1.5119. 1.5119. So the next one is 2.25. Plug in the place of t, take the square root. 2 divided by answer is going to give us what? 
1.32. So the next one is what 2.75. Plug in 2.75 here, take the square root, press equal to, then 2 divided by answer is going to give us what? 1.2060. So we have successfully filled this column. So the next thing we are going to write is the formula used to calculate the mid ordinate rule. And the formula is given as what? Integral of A to B, which is the limit, then the function with respect to dt, which is approximately what? Width of the interval. Width of interval. Then multiply by what? Multiply by sum of all ordinates. Ordinate. This is the mid ordinate rule formula used to evaluate the integral. Now it's very easy now to substitute to this formula because the width of the interval is, is given as to 0 0.5 and the sum of all ordinates. Look at here are the ordinates. So now it's very easy to substitute into this formula. This one is the integral given, which is what integral of 1 to 3, 2 over rho t respect to dt which is approximately what the width of the interval which is 0 0.5 then multiply by what sum of all ordinates sum everything together you sum the four ordinates we are going to have what we are going to have 5.8401 which you have 5.8401 so that we are going to have what in approximately So 5.8401. So the next thing is going to multiply 0 0.5 by 5.8401. It's going to be what? Approximately. If you multiply 0 0.5 multiplied by 5840, it's going to give us what? 2.920. So three decimal places. So we have successfully evaluated this integral using mid ordinate rule. So this is how to use mid ordinate rule to evaluate integral. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also follow me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram at Chabez Online Tutorial.